What I'm really doing here is I'm conflating religious mythology with carnival entertainment because they have so much in common, don't they really? Now, don't they? yours is one of two tents here. Yours is one and the other is the uh, United, United Arab Air Emirates also have a tent. Well, they do. And in fact, my panel advertising the uh, Flying Genie and her 72 virgins is directly facing the United Arab Emirates, but they haven't complained. They, they haven't complained because they probably haven't been by. Well, I like to think that they actually snuck in and enjoyed it. <laughs> now, what do you think of the LA Art Show, ha letting them come here and, and set that up knowing what their uh, mores are? You know, art fairs generally, and especially this one, are supposed to be places that are free exchanges of ideas. Okay. It's not just about pretty pictures or things you hang over your couch. It's about the flow of ideas. Mm -hmm. And art fairs are the best place in the world to see this exchange of ideas, and especially at the LA Art Show, which is such a cross-cultural, multinational event, you know? So I, I think they're supposed to be here, and uh, along with me and my you know, non-believer artwork, that get to speak to each other, or at least exist peacefully in the same room together. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? But the society which they represent is not free. It's not free uh, for uh, minorities, yeah. ethnic, gender minorities. Yeah, I, you know, we honestly, we live in primitive times, don't we? The world is still a very primitive place. It really is. Maybe if they come to more art fairs, they become uh, a little bit more open and free. Right? I like to think that.